Hello, welcome back to the channel. I recently watched Peter McKinnon's video on DaVinci Resolve keyboard shortcuts. Actually, Kirk narrated the video. He does all the editing for Peter, as you know. And after watching the video, I realized there's a few tricks to mapping DaVinci Resolve keyboard shortcuts that Kirk had forgotten to mention. I'm new to DaVinci Resolve myself, and I'm currently using the newest public beta version of DaVinci Resolve 18.5, but assume the previous versions work the same way as well. So here we go. If you're mapping your keyboard shortcuts and they're, they're not working, they're just not working, the first thing you wanna look at is the yellow icon. If there's a yellow icon next to the keyboard shortcut that you assigned in the mapping, it's, that's probably your problem. If you see the yellow icon, it means that there's a mapping conflict with the shortcut. In other words, the shortcut is already assigned to another function or tool within the DaVinci software itself. So when you see the yellow icon next to your shortcut, all you need to do is click on the shortcut key on the mapping menu, and it'll tell you what the other functions or function is that it's already mapped to, what shortcut already exists. And you can simply delete those other functions or mappings. I've noticed it's best that you save everything first, then go back into the keyboard shortcut menu and remap the shortcut key. Otherwise, I've noticed, at least on my version, the features you're looking for may not show up when you're typing them in. So again, just save everything, then go back into the settings again and remap the shortcut key you're looking for. You may have to do this over and over for every mapping you do. Save, exit, go back in again. I hope this helps and saves you some time. It was making me crazy trying to figure out why my keyboard shortcuts were not working. Don't forget, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and if you like these types of tutorial videos, just leave me a comment down below. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.